No awkward introductions this time. You're here for content, not my name. Hello, new friends. I'm back with another little trick to hopefully make your post-production life easier. A problem that I've run into many, many, many times while managing stock footage is pulling the credits for all of the stock footage at the end of the process. Um, I've worked with a lot of um, material from the National Archives and from NASA. So a lot of times there's been uh, little credits buried in the documentation that you know when you're in the frenzy of pulling these materials, you're like, yeah, whatever, it's from NASA. And then I have to go back at the end and go, oh shit, this needs to be JPL Caltech, da 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 da. Um, I'm realizing now that this trick doesn't necessarily help with that unless you do some good work on the front end, but it's still a good way to just easily pull credit information, assuming that you have been tracking things using some kind of track sheet. You know what? The more I describe it, the less useful it sounds. So I'm just going to show it to you and hopefully you'll think it's cool. When I track stock, I use, this is a very old template. I don't actually use a template like this anymore, but, um, you know, track clip name, source in, source out description, owner. And this is this long thing of names. It's just like, okay, how do I make sure that I haven't missed anybody? Um, I can use the unique formula. Unique, and then I go, and I click I, and you know, so the first row is I13 in this instance, and then I just go I to I, I13 to I, I can type. And that gets me a list of all the unique names. So I can just pull this and put this in the credits for stock footage. And if you really want to get fancy, or make your life easy. You put sort in front of it, and that puts it in alphabetical order. I love using this for stock footage. I also have really found it helpful when pulling um, credits for music. Uh, so like I have, oops, not that. So like I've got this template here where I will just like paste all of the music tracks from the EDL that give um, the next column gives me a list of just the unique tracks so that I can look up those song names in the library and fill in the uh, library for that. And then, well, okay, Exampleton, we'll just do that. And you can see it updates live for Exampleton. And then it, this is what I can then copy to the credits list. So the unique and the sort formulas are just super helpful, super easy. And I'm constantly using, finding different ways of using them to get things done quickly. Uh, so I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any problems that you've been running into that you're like, could a spreadsheet solve this? Let me know in the comments. This is an extremely rare sighting of, Sa oh, no, Stash has decided she doesn't want food enough. But this is an extremely rare sighting of Stash leaving my bedroom and emerging into the kitchen.